Is, is, is everything simultaneous? 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 No. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to another board game video. I don't think I've done a board game video since like I did the June or July wrap up. I think it was June because I think it was like the halfway point uh, when I stopped doing them. Because I have the same games and I'm like, I just felt like I just kept talking about the same board games every month. I mean, there was times that I would maybe have like one or two new ones, but then it's like a whole video repeating the same ones and then just for like two new ones. You know, it was just like, it, it didn't make sense to do them anymore. And as you can tell, we have our a new minion over here. It's a reminder, they're soap dispensers, but they're so cute, aren't they? And I was like, you know, fuck it. We're gonna, we're gonna put them here. My mom got them from church. And I think those are so cute. Mr. Oogie Boogie still be here on the side. We're not getting rid of him, but he's he's here all year long. All year long, he is right there. So we're gonna give the the spotlight to the minions for Halloween. I have another Halloween one, but this video, what you guys click. So today we're gonna be talking about the ten games that I prefer to play solo. They're not just solo games, so you're not gonna see like Final Girl Friday on here. These are games that have a solo mode. You can play one, two, however many there is. But for one reason or another, I just prefer these solo. Now, if somebody does happen to say, "Hey, let's play this game," I will be like, "Yes, I will." But low key, nobody asked me to play any but any games, y'all. Um, I don't got it like. I don't have friend groups like that. Wait, no, actually, it happened one time, y'all. I was so excited. My cousin, like, texts me. And she goes, can we have a game night? I'm like, ah. And then I had to, like, come back to reality because I was like, I need to respond, like, right away before she changes her mind. I was like, yes, when? Tonight? It's, like, the best thing because nobody ever asked me to a game day. Now, of course, we have some honorable mentions because, you know, is it ever a list without honorable mentions? We only have five. And these are just some games that I love them solo, but I also really love them or enjoy them multiplayer. So I was like, okay, I think that'll be a good kind of like honorable mention sort of deal. So we're gonna jump right into it. A lot of these games, actually most of these games, the majority of these games, because again I have like a small collection. I've talked about them a lot and they're like older games too so I feel like most people know a lot about them so we're not gonna talk like too much about them you know. So first up it's going to be Marvel United. I finally got another Marvel United y'all. I got the X-Men because I love me some X-Men. I actually just got this one um like two weekends ago. I already played it solo and I just love this game. It's so simple. It's so easy to teach. I have the mat which I absolutely love. It just keeps everything so very well organized. This one I've played with the solo mode that's included in here and then also the new solo mode. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, no, I'm so terrible with this. I actually like the new solo mode over the one that it comes with here, but it's still really good. But you're doing this a little storyboard. If you're not familiar with Marvel United, it's like a really simple game. If you are new to the board game, it's definitely a very uh, beginner friendly, but also if you're in the geek hobby, I think it's one that's still very, very enjoyable, especially if you have like small kids. I don't have kids, but I just still enjoy it. Of course, it's heroes against villains. You're playing cards, uh, the cards that you play usually have one to two like special actions. The cool thing about this one is that you're able to use a special action from the previous one. I said I wasn't gonna talk a lot, y'all. Look at him. What am I doing? I'm already talking a lot. I need to stop doing that. This one I've played solo and I've played at two and at three players and I have enjoyed them at all. Then we have Wingspan. Um, I just, this is the one that was over there when I was getting the game. So Wingspan, Wingspan, Asia, whatever it is. It's another one. I love playing it solo. I, I think I might prefer, it might go more towards preferring it solo, but I also really enjoy it with other people. And I've played this, I played it up to four people. I love Wingspan, it's one of my favorite um, all time games. Sagrada, another one. It's super quick, super easy. Um, it is a little bit quicker when you play by yourself because you can get stuck with playing with people who have analysis paralysis, aka one of my, aka my older sister. I played this solo and I've played this at two players. And it's a really nice little puzzly game. You're trying to do a beautiful stained glass window with colorful dice. And uh, there are rules to the placement of the dice that you're able to do. My all-time favorite game, Cascadia. 
Um, it's such a chill game. I haven't played it as much anymore. Oh, also while I'm here because I have this, the, these actually are all part of my 10 by 10 challenge. This is how my 10 by 10 challenge is going because I haven't updated y'all since like June and it's not going very well. Like I'm almost done with some. But like others, I honestly thought I was going to play more. But another puzzle game, y'all. And it's nature theme. It's beautiful. I really love nature games. I never would have thought. Like if you would have told me you you're you going to love nature game games, I would have been like, no. No, because I don't even like the outdoors. Me, let me make, no. And then now it's like, yes. Yeah, I love them. They're so chill. I've played it mostly solo, but I've played it up to, I think, three players. And then finally, this shouldn't be any surprise. If y'all been with me for a while, y'all already know who's going to be coming up here. Mm-hmm is that bitch farmer Edith. So now they're like nature kind of deal. Perfect for the fall. Look at this, a fall game too. Look, does that not scream fall? Look, look at that. You're harvesting the three sisters, beans, corn, pumpkins. Yeah, <gasps> yeah, follow that guy on TikTok. Abundance. Yeah, I got so excited when he goes, my three sisters didn't make it. I went, I I got so excited because I knew what it was because of this game right here. Uh, but it is a roll and write. I've also come to find out that I love roll and write games. But this is a roll and write. When you're playing solo, you're playing against that bitch farmer Edith. Y'all know. Y'all know we stole her man. Maybe. I don't know. She thinks we stole her man. But when you're playing with other people, she's just there observing you watching you telling you where you can and cannot go she ain't that much of a bitch when you're playing with other people i played it solo and i played it with two people and i really really enjoy it both ways i do want to try with more people just know that when you play this solo you're gonna see former edith and she be going up there she be destroying things y'all okay so these are the five honorable mentions that took longer than probably should have now let's get on to the official official top 10 list in no particular order okay i'm literally i have a stack here and as i'm grabbing them up that's just how they're up. they're going okay i'm probably gonna go from like the heaviest to the lightest okay so in no particular order first up marvel champions and it like marvel united but like more to it because there's just more involving your heroes and you're fighting against the villains who are trying to do bad, bad, bad things. But you have cards and the cards just have different things on them. And you have to buy the cards. You have to pay resources to use the cards. So it's a little bit more complex, probably not too too like beginner friendly kind of deal. Uh, the thing is that when you play with multiple people, I've played this up to four people. It takes when it comes to card games that have like a lot of text on there my my game group which which are all like for beginners really it's a little bit too complicated and even for me sometimes I'm like well I don't really know what this means so that is why this is here <laughs> I didn't give you much about this game. I know I didn't okay but this generally they're cards that have a lot of text on them some of, most of it is pretty self-explanatory but sometimes you know it gets a little bit complex plus I love the deck building aspect to it my favorite hero from the core box is She-Hulk just absolutely love love She-Hulk she's so powerful especially like once you get her built up and I play her with justice because you know she's a lawyer I do prefer her with that versus um aggression the other one that I really like is um Carly Witch's brother? What the hell is his name? I could quite say Frozo. <laughs> what the hell is his name? Here he is, right here. What is your name? Quicksilver. What the fuck, dude? That's in nombre. He's an asshole. If I can't remember his fucking name now. So with that, as far as card wise go, um. Arkham Horror would be the other one. Now I've only played this one a couple times and I've only ever played it solo but because of Marvel Champions because of magic I, I was trying to get into magic but again same thing we were kind of having problems with the cards and really explaining like people were having had a hard time so again cards with a lot of text not really like necessarily a lot a lot of text but I just don't 
really want to put other people in there. Plus, I've heard that this game is just better solo. I will say it is spooky though. <gasps> Perfect for like this time of year, y'all, for Halloween. I already said fall. Now we got Halloween. Um, once I get up into that attic, y'all, I'd be scared. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'd be like, I need to get up out of here and kill this. <gasps> I killed it one time. I was very <laughs> Because that thing up in the attic, we're not trying to do too much spoilers, but that thing up in the attic, because y'all know, it's always killing me. It's always killing me. But the last time I played it, I killed it. I said, bitch. The Search for Planet X. It is a deduction game. You do need an app for this. I know a lot of people are not very fond from what I hear. They're not very fond of app-based games. But this one, I honestly forget how great it is just because the first time that I played it, which was last year when we did like our 50 games one week challenge. I think we played it like at four players. And there's not much like interaction to be honest with you. It's a race, right? To see who's gonna find Planet X first. So it wasn't like as enjoyable. And then finally when I was like, oh, there's a solo mode, let me try my solo. And I really, really loved it. Of course the app always finds stupid Planet X before I do. They have a new game with animals. I'm curious because like nature-y, right? And I really, really like it. Uh, but this one was not as popular. This one is the one that when I asked my family, um, like, what do y'all like to play? Like, which one do y'all not like to make sure that I don't bring that game out or bring similar games to that? They're like, oh, no, we've liked all the games except for this one. They've always said, said this one is the one that we just didn't really like the most. And I think it is because there is, like, not that much interaction going on with everything. When I was writing them down, this was, like, the first game that came up to my mind. It's actually the first time I've used board games to decorate. I really love it. Um, that's terrifying because orange you know like I was saying with uh, the search for planet X there's not too much player interaction happening and when I've come to notice that when I'm not really interacting with other players and whatever they're doing is not really affecting me I mean yes they may pick up a card that I want or they may get a point before me but that could literally be like the AI where it doesn't really bother me too much Does that makes sense so if there's really not much player interaction, then I'm just like, I'd just rather not play you with other players. Maybe if I played at three players or more, I may find more interaction. But at the same time, it's like you're you're, like, you're not really interacting with other people. You're building up your tableau and I absolutely love it. I love it when I get those discounts. It feels so good. Then we have Longshot the Dice Game. I... I really, really, really enjoy this game. I've played this up to uh, one, two, three, up to four people. This is one of the games that I took with me when I went to go visit my dad last year. And I took quite a few games, and I was like, "Okay, this is gonna be great." You know, he loves like horse races and everything, and it's so quick and easy. And he just he, this is one that he goes, "No, I." He just was not feeling this game at all. You're not necessarily getting a horse that's assigned to you you're rolling some dice and like whatever dice you have to move then that horse moves another horse around the or may or may not you can buy the horse so then at the end of the day that horse does belong to you and if it wins you get money but you're not necessarily just moving that one horse if that makes sense honestly it's one that also i kind of forget how good it is but it's one that if i want like a quick game that's really really satisfying long shot the dice game then we have the bloody end this is another good uh one for spooky season um you are running an end you're murdering people you're burying people you're bribing people the police are coming around you may like a police officer too because you know what they might be getting a little bit too nosy a little bit too like curious a lot a lot of dead bodies in your end it's very very much haunted i played this up to three players and i did not like it I just was not here for it. I quite honestly just enjoy it solo by myself. I'm like, yes, I dig you alone. Then we have parts, another nature one. This also gives you fall vibe. You know, we're getting some fall and some spooky recommendations here. Parks is also part of my 10 by 10 challenge. I play this a lot on BGA as well. I actually haven't been on BGA a lot, to be honest with you lately. Parks is another one that's really one of my favorites. I really, really love it. It's very like chill. You're going on a hike. You're minding your own business. You're trying to collect some resources. You're trying to visit these parks. The thing with it being solo, it gets a little bit meaner. 
gets a little bit meaner. I feel like when people really talk about parts though, it's like it's just so nice and calm and chill. But people are not really talking about like the solo mode on it. It does get mean. The ranger and the assistant. So it's another one kind of like former Edith. Kind of like former Ranger Bob. I don't know. I feel like I change his name all the time. But right now it's going to be Ranger Bob and his little assistant. Jimmy is what we're going to call him. Yeah, they can be little assholes as they're like kind of like moving around the park. They're never going to fall on your particular spot. And if they happen to fall on your particular spot, they'll go to the next one. But they're just kind of like trying to clean up the park as best as they can. And as they're kind of rolling around, they're collecting the water and the suns. And they kind of, they, they put those resources on their little card. They have a little separate card. If they collect up to three, then it triggers whatever is on the card. Because there's like two sides. One is for the suns and one is for the water. And sometimes they're very mean. Like, you got to get rid of all your forest oh my god yeah i forgot to take off my bracelet i'm so sorry we've been clicking and clicking it over here i do have the nightfall expansion and i love it i love it i won't play without it anymore i love with the whole camping situation i love having the new cards and all that other good stuff it's very chill i've played this up to two people and it was again just chill but at the same time it was just like too chill <laughs> if that makes sense these next two i've never actually played multiplayer i've only ever played them solo but i really love them solo because kind of like with terraform and mars kind of with planet x i feel like whatever they're doing is not fully affecting me in any particular way and first up is gonna be hadrian's wall which is also part of my 10 by 10 challenge and i know that there's stuff that can be done with like other players and things but does it really affect me? Does it? I feel like it doesn't. People really say that this is very like much on the heavier side of deal and it intimidated me to be honest with you when I first went in. So I don't know if it because I went in with that mindset of it being super heavy, super intimidating that when I started playing it, I was like, you know what? You're actually not that bad. Like I really didn't think it was as bad as I feel like a lot of people were making it seem. It is very, very heavy, y'all. Maybe I shouldn't. You know what? Let me let me just take the cover off and put this here because I feel like it's gonna like it's so heavy. So this is one that I don't know. I feel like I'm able to keep track of the things a little bit better just because of the little meeples, the little resources. You know, the the servants, the maids, whatever, the civilians, the workers, the bricks, all the little resources. Because as you're marking things off. You're grabbing these into your little like section on top. So every time you're using something, you're taking it back. You're able to get something back, mark it off. And I just feel like just kind of having all these, it helps me keep track of everything without officially losing something and be like, okay, I didn't grab that. Cause it's like, as soon as I mark it, I grab it, right? Or as soon as I'm gonna use it off, I put it back over there. And can I say this is fall time because of the colors? Then we have Dinosaur Island, raw and right so cute yeah when i tell you when i got this i was so upset that i was playing it so so many times and i've only played this solo again it's one that i don't know how somebody else playing with me will affect my game let me know how it would because <laughs> i think it, it, it's everything simultaneous 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 no <laughs> So, simultaneously? That doesn't sound right. Is it so? Sil? Sil? Mu? Oh. Yeah, I know where I'm trying to. Like, everybody's doing it at the same time. <laughs> Rolling right. You're building your, like, park. You're getting some dinosaurs up in there. You're gonna think Jurassic World. Not Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. You're getting some DNA, you're building dinosaurs, you're encaging them, you're getting your shops, you're getting your food corks, you know, people gotta eat. I will at some point play it with somebody, but it's one that I'm not like in a hurry to. And then finally, again, in no particular order, I just was grabbing it, okay? It's Ark Nova, this is big old, big old one right here. You are building a zoo. There is a lot, okay? You get a shit load of card job. Like, 
shitload of cards. I usually like shuffle them and then I'll just get like a small amount to kind of put over there and if we happen to need some more which we never do <laughs> then I can grab the other ones. It's very very thematic because it's like you have your zoo you have to get your enclosures to put your animals in there you know you can't just put an animal in your zoo because it's like you, they can't just be roaming free you have to make sure you have an enclosure that fits that particular animal you know so you can't put like a size 5 animal in a size 2 enclosure no you have to have a size 5 enclosure um you can put a size 2 animal in a size 5 because it will fit it will be very roomy the thing is that when you're playing multiple people it takes a long time it's just it's a log long time the first time that i played this game i i played it at three and it was our first time for all of us and it took us like three plus hours to play this game to be honest with you i have played it with the arno solo mode which i do enjoy because it does give that whole sense of having that second player they are more involved versus the solo mode that is involved here that it's just a timer and i do well I don't even know because I do like both. I've only played the Arno once and I feel like if I want like a deep long version of it I will play Arno otherwise I will play just the the uh, timer version because it goes a quicker plus it still gives me the satisfaction of playing Arc Nova without going forever in a day with it because you at least know you, your stopping point you know how many turns you have which is, I think is like six rounds right I think that's how many rounds it is but yeah this is the video yeah I really really hope you enjoyed it um if you did don't forget to give it a like comment share subscribe let me know like what games you prefer solo because I definitely wouldn't mind more recommendations thanks so much for watching until next time I'll see you guys at concessions bye